two of my Java 8 or Java 1.8 intro video. In the last video, we talked about functional interfaces as well as lambdas. In this part, we're going to talk about default methods on interfaces as well as streams. So let's get to it. We're going to start with talking about default methods on interfaces. So if you've written Java code before, you know that you cannot write code or you cannot implement methods inside of an interface. Well, that has changed now. Uh, with Java 1.8, they've given you the ability to declare something called a default method. Let me just show you what that looks like. Uh, we're going to we're going to declare it on Jode filter. Um, you'll see why in a bit. We're going to declare a default method. So you just write default, and we're going to call it accept as well. And this one's going to take in a node. So that's the raw Java's uh, DOM node class, and it has to return a boolean. And we're going to just call accept again with new Jode and pass in that node. So now what we have here is a default method on an interface, which means any class that implements this interface automatically gets this implementation of the method. They, If they implement the method themselves, it will override this just as if this were an abstract class. However, now they can actually implement more than one interfaces, so they can get more of these default methods. It's kind of a way to do multiple inheritance. Um, I think it's kind of cool. So now that we have this default method that takes in a node, we're actually going to be using it uh, a little bit later. Well, right now, actually, or pretty soon. Um, so now I'm going to talk about streams. And streams are a new way in Java 8 to uh, traverse collections and manipulate them in different ways. One good example is filtering collections. So I already have this filter method that is doing uh, creating a list or an empty list, a resulting list, looping through the original items, checking to see if the original item belongs, and if it does belong, adding it to the list. Now, and then it returns the list right here. Now this is a lot of code to do a pretty simple thing such as filtering a collection on this uh, essentially a predicate. And the authors of Java realized that and they created streams for us. And now it's easy to do. So to do this, you grab the list and you call the stream method on it. And let me show you what nodes is here. It's just a list of type node, and I call stream on it, and that gives me the stream interface. And the stream interface has lots of convenience methods for manipulating this data in a concise manner. Uh, in particular, what we want here is filter, and this takes a predicate. And a predicate is a functional interface, like we saw before, and this functional interface defines one method that takes an object of some type and returns true or false, depending on whether or not it should remain in the filtered collection. So we're going to write a lambda here, because we can. Uh, so like I said, it takes in a node, and then it returns true or false, depending on whether it should be in the collection. So we're going to call filter.accept, and pass in that node. And now, what's really cool is, you can see here that this accept is taking a type node because we're looping through a collection of nodes. So now it's actually automatically calling this default method, which is sort of where that comes into play and why that's really cool. Uh, so now we are calling accept and we have another stream that we can manu man manipulate further. Or if we want to turn it into a list, we can use something called a collector. So we're going to call collect and we're going to call collectors dot to, whoops, to list. And that is going to return, this collect method is going to return a list of nodes for us. So now, just like this. So now we can do the exact same thing we were doing before. Return new jode list. Let's space this out a little better. 
remove the old code. So now we're doing the exact same thing in a much more concise manner. So we grab the nodes, we stream them, and then we filter them. And we filter them based on this Jode filter that was passed in. And then we collect them into a list. So as you can see, these new Java 8 features, I can't do anything different than I was doing before, except it makes the code so much easier to read, so much more clear what you're doing. It cuts out lots of the extra junk that was just necessary uh, in the past, and it makes it a lot shorter to write too. So that is the quick intro over the most interesting for me features on Java 1.8 in this video and the previous. Uh, I will be doing more on these, I believe, uh, to kind of deeper dive into some of the topics as well as cover some of the ones that I didn't cover. So please uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to learn more about Java 8 in the future. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, cheers.